how to use Microsoft Designer full Microsoft Designer for beginners tutorial. Welcome to this video guys. In this video we'll be taking a look at Microsoft Designer and what we can do with this program. How can we actually summarize Microsoft Designer? I think Microsoft Designer is a combination between Canva and AI. Now I'm going to tell you what it's all about. So after you have entered the Microsoft Designer website here, you can see describe the logo you would like to create. So you can use this to create flyers, logos and things like that. Now here we get the option to type something out and Microsoft Designer will automatically generate it for us or if we want to, we can use a reference image. What is a reference reference image? Right here where it says add image, if we click on it, we get the option to insert an image either from our phone or from a device. So if we want to use a reference image, this is where we find the option to do so. Now, how do we actually generate an image or a flyer from scratch? All right, let's begin. So we have an example given here, an Instagram post about my cosmetic pro product launched on April 1st. If you don't want to think of an example yourself right here, you can use these as reference as well. Simply hover over them and it will give you the prompt that was used to generate each of those. So if you like a design, for example, we can either click on this and open it straight up or we can get inspiration from a prompt uh, for example, this one, we're thrilled to showcase the employee of the month in our employee spotlight today. And they have inserted the person's image. Okay, so I am going to create a logo or a flyer beginning from scratch. So, let's say a post about potatoes being on sale for... 6.99 so this is the prompt that i'm going to give to microsoft designer and let's see what it manages to come up with a post about potatoes being on sale for 6.99 let's click on generate and while we wait the result will be right here will be shown right here okay so from this prompt we quickly got some different options so as you can see all are related to our prompt in text right here. So we get potatoes on sale, potatoes on sale. So basically here we're going to choose the best design that we like. So for example, let's say this one. This one's basic and I can work with it. So if you want to open up a design, you just click on it and then you click on customize design because we're going to make some changes. This looks okay. It's clean. It's a clean design, but it's very plain. So I'm going to show you what happens. So we've picked the design itself and here we're going to make some changes. First, let's go over the left hand side and the options templates. So here you can use some of the pre-selected templates, pre-created templates. As you can see, there's a variety of different templates which you can choose from if you want to begin and customize them yourself. Plenty of templates. Okay. You can even search for templates yourself if you have something in mind. Now, what is the second option? The second option, My Media, right here, if we click on it, we can import files from some cloud drives or from our devices. So again, we get the option to import from our computer, from our phone, Google Drive, Dropbox and Google Photos. So we can bring our files here is what it says. Okay, for this, I'm not going to do it, but you can do that very easily. Now visuals. Visuals is where you generate and find almost anything you need. So for example, right here, you get straight up recommendations for your design. So it says and sees that your design has to do with potatoes. So of course it gives you pictures, drawings of potatoes and other different vegetables as well as fruit. So 
here is where we will be this is the option that we will be using the most so again like i said right here you have some sub tabs you can generate one if you want to generate an image yourself so for example let's type bowling and see what it manages to come up with working magic to create your images this will also be saved in my media so that you can access them later okay so this is my first time actually using this feature so let's see what it manages to come up with what pictures it can come up with for bowling okay and as you can see some pretty nice photos for bowling if that's what we want to do and insert into our design the second option right here photos again like i said pre-selected photos and different photos that are already available without having to generate them and basically if you want to search for a field and you want to add a football field for example or something just a regular field you can just drag and drop it so that's how you do it but i'm going to delete this okay and then the graphics basically just some graphics that you can use to design a logo and videos pre-selected videos which we can use in our designs presentations or whatever so this was going to be a design for potatoes on sale so let's go into all all of these subcategories and let's type potato let's pretend like i didn't like the one image that was given right here and i want to put something else something that's more fitting towards the thing that i want to represent okay so let's take this image of a potato and just drag it so that's how you add visuals to your uh, logo or presentation or whatever be it uh, it could also be a um a flyer like it is for us okay so go back into visuals let's say we like this potato but we want to add something else as well how do we add it we again select and drag and drop this is just a very basic example you can readjust these and of course you can work your magic and see what you can come up with okay so these are the two images that i want to use in my design now the next step would most likely be editing your text so as you can see this one looks very plain as well now how do we edit images and text basically if we click on the image you might have seen this already but we get the options to remove background to crop to use effects or even use this image as a background so basically it means that it will take place it will take the place of this gray background uh, as well as we can readjust the position and opacity so let's see if we want to remove the background what it's going to look like all right perfect it is just a plain potato and we can stretch this out by dragging from the corners all right so this is one image that we're going to use and then here i click on the second image and again i'm going to remove the background which is a very useful feature and as you can see it does it perfectly so potatoes on sale let's say i want to add some effects to this image how do we do it well as you can see we have the filters right here or you can play around with the filters yourself so just mess around with them and see what you like let's say i want to make this a lighter version of it as you can see we click on it and we can see the difference i think this looks way more appealing and this one let's see let's use calm and again it looks way better i think this is way more eye-catching than it was before all right so let's say we're done with the graphics that we have added now what do we do the next step would be uh, editing the text so right here we have the text if we left click on it again we get the different fonts that we can use and right here at the top we get the font size whether we want it italic underlined or strike through so let's say we want to change the font uh, itself first i double clicked on the text and right here let's select a font which one do you guys like let's see this one potatoes on sale that's kind of hard to read so i'm going to do the second one potatoes on sale both text and again i'm going to hover over the 
uh, corner here and I'm just going to left click and drag and readjust this okay so you can drag it when you see this when you see your mouse cursor change okay so let's put it like so and let's make it a little bit bigger so I'm going to highlight the text itself and here I am going to edit the font size so as you can see you can play around with it I'm going to leave it at 62 okay so we have two potatoes potatoes on sale and get them for 699 uh, let's say I want to edit this text for it to be in italic and also underlined as you can see we have done this so this is very basic now how can we take this to the next level I'm going to go back into visuals and then here I am going to click on graphics and let's look what we can add actually let's add some grass let's search for grass see what we can come up with okay let's take this one so again like I said just drag and drop it like so you can position it you can bring it forward or bring it send it back let's see if we send it back it is going to go behind the potato itself so again I'm going to go into visuals maybe I'm going to add more of these like so and this one's going to be in front so we're going to line it up and then here let's see what we can add basically anything you want to search for so let's type field again and see what it gives us okay so we get some grass fields right here now this looks kind of um, very small in size so I'm just going to increase the size by dragging and as you can see it is actually high quality so it does not look pixelated okay and again I'm going to position this in the back all right so let's say this is the design that we're going to use so you have seen all of the features right here the only thing that I forgot to mention was the brand kit the brand kit is basically how you what designs your brand uses for example if you click on this it is going to always change the background color of the image as well as the font and basically this is like a preset for your own brand okay so if your brand follows some strict rules and you want all of your posts to look identical you set up one of those brand kits and then you put them here and you use them so as you can see as your own brand basically it will mean that for example if this uh, flyer is the one we use it's going to be cray and these are the fonts that are going to be used it's like a preset like i said so after our design is done then what we need to click on is download and here we get a bunch of different options we can download it as png which is recommended you can make the background transparent and then you can also remove a, the watermark so after you have done all of this you can just click on download and then you will have your design so that is how you use designer in or microsoft designer for beginners, I hope this video was useful to you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.